The cosine law is used when an angle and its opposite side isn't given. So we have a triangle here. Angle A's opposite is 15 centimeters. Angle B's opposite is 17 centimeters. Angle C, which is 43 degrees, has an unknown side. So in order to find the side, we must use the cosine law. So first, we must state the cosine law. The cosine law is c squared equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab plus c. We then need to substitute our known values into this formula. c squared remains c squared because we don't have a side for it. So c squared equals a squared is 15 squared plus side B is 17, so 17 squared minus 2 side A side B, which is 15 and 17 close 43 since we know the angle. angle. We then plug this formula into our calculator. So we get 15 squared plus 17 squared minus 2 15 17 cos 43. The value which we get is 141. In order to get length c on its own, we must square root this value. So we get c equals the square root of 141. The value which we get is 11.87. We can then round this value to 11.9. By using the cosine law, we have found our unknown length, C, which equals to 11.9 centimeters. So for our second example, we have three sides, but no angle. So we first start with stating the formula, which is C squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab plus c. We then can now start to substitute our known values into our formula. And because we have a side this time, we can change c squared, or in this case a squared, into 5.9 squared equals to 8.1 squared plus 9.2 squared minus 2, 8.1, 9.2 cos of angle A. Now, because we can see that our unknown value is together with the values that we have. We need to isolate cos A. So in order to do this, we need to move 8.1 squared and 9.2 squared to the other side. So we can start by doing 5.9 squared minus 9.2 squared minus 8.1 squared, which equals to minus 2, bracket 9.2, and close bracket, open bracket, 8.1, close A. Now that we've moved our numbers to one side, we can solve them and then simplify. So we have 34.81 minus 84.64 
minus sixty five point six one which equals to minus one forty nine point oh four cos a. So in order to get cos a on its own, we need to divide both sides by one forty nine by minus 149.04. So we need to divide both sides by negative 149.04 in order to get cos A by, by itself. So for the left side, we have negative 115.44 divided by negative 149.04. And for the right side, we have negative 149.04 cos A divided by negative 149.04. We are then left with 0 0.774557165, which equals to cos A. In order to remove the cos, we need to, we need to do the inverse of this number. So by typing in the inverse T, which is second shift cos, and typing in the, the number, the value that we had for cos A, which is 0 0.77455765, and clicking enter, we get a value of 39.2 degrees. 39.2 degrees equals to angle A. We have now found our unknown angle, which equals to 39.2 degrees. Now that we know how to use the cosine law, let's use this formula in a real life situation. The question is, the pendulum on a clock is 94.5 centimeters when the pendulum swings from one side to the other. The horizontal separation is 15.3 centimeters. Determine the angle through which the pendulum swings to the nearest tenth of a degree. First of all, in order to solve this question, drawing and label labeling a diagram is very beneficial. Secondly, stating the law is also beneficial. After stating the law, substitute your known values into your law. And lastly, when you solve Remember to write a conclusion.